guys, here I am, Patrick, PCTV, at the Brea Father's Day Classic Car Show, Cruising Brea, and it is packed. This is the end of the day here. I've been barely able to get around and just starting to get some shots in, so let's take a quick look here. Beautiful 64 uh, Chevelle SS, right next to it, looking like a 60 Caddy. Got a beautiful club cube. Now, this is going to be tricky, okay? So just so you know, it's going to be real tricky getting through here, but I'll do the best I can. And uh, 1949 Ford Club Coupe. Looking like a Ford SVT set up in here. Oh, Coyote. Looking like a Coyote. Very clean. And it's for sale. Look at the interior on this. Really a beautiful, beautiful build. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, get through, there we go. See the Darlings here. Oh, wait a second. It's not the Darlings, but dang. Shanty, this is the twin to your car almost. Yours is nicer though. They went with a more original interior. LS converted, not as traditional looking as, as you guys is. You've got a more traditional looking engine even though you've got the LS and the uh, badass fuel injection. Very nice bench seat setup. Let's take a look at the motor over here. Ultra, ultra clean. I mean, it's up there with the Darlings car. It really is. It's a beautiful, beautiful example of tripod. Motor. Very sweet. It's a challenge to get down through here. Check out this Buick. Buick Special. Very nice. Convertible. Again, really, really tight in here. It's looking like a 40. <laughs> And it is just wall to wall people. Look at the 65 Stinger right here. Big block. Nice. 396 factory car. Sick. 425 horsepower. Alternator conversion. Original fan. Let's get a look inside. Tommy covers bitching. Very cool. Oh, and it's a pedal car. We're shifting gears here, baby. Pushing pedals. Bowling gears, as Dana would say. Gorgeous 65. So you can really see, like I said, it's it's tricky getting through here. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time. Also, I've got Trevor sitting over by himself. Up oh, there's the Vicky. Love this thing. It's the Skyliner version with the with the clear top. Brings this out quite a bit. 1955. Look at that. He even has a matching model. I wonder if we got that from Larry the Toy Guy. Big Y block. Very cool. Across the way, there's a that's super rare. Uh, Ranchero Squire 70, I believe. Excuse me, this is just the rarest of the rare. It's got a 429 in it, and yeah, really, really exciting. Modern Mustang 57 Chevy. As you can see, it's going to be really tricky getting through here, so I'm going to do the best I can. Went over to the uh, Highway 39 uh, event center earlier today, too. That was a lot of fun. Look at this Merc. Wow, beautiful lay down. Yeah, nice metal flake, small block Chevy, right a little high in there. It's a 51, great shot job. Love the fact that he went all with black trim, basically murdered out. Oh, he's got the banana, he's got the banana boat spray. Well, it's still steering wheel, but definitely a hand heater. Oh, Packer tail lights? No, these look like, maybe the Cadillac. Very custom. Mr. Razzie, loving it. See this 30 right next to it, also looking like it's the same owner, Razzie. Love the Lando bars. Hopefully Trevor's not getting in trouble. Uh, Grand GT wheel, that's awesome, wood wheel. Just like what I got in the uh, Frank attempt. Very sweet, I'm gonna have to go to wide angle here. So here's one more look at that 51 Mark, it's just incredible. Really exceptional car. I don't know if I really got a good look inside here. I really didn't. Look at this. Button tuck. Gorgeous. Top notch. 68 Mustang. Stock steering wheel in it. Don't think it's a pony package. Standard wheel covers on it. Now he's got his dealer invoice on this. Rail 2, super, super clean under the hood. Marty Otterworks out of El Mirage, Arizona. 
What do you pay for this thing? Does it show me a sticker price here? No, it's the build. Well, it's the build sheet. 302. Really, really nice car overall. Right next to it. This is an award winner right here. This sucker has won all kinds of iron. Beautiful. Tri 5. It's Marks. It's a Chevy 210. He's not afraid to call it out as it is. It's a full post car. Look at this interior. Just exceptional. Gorgeous. So yeah, today's a short one here at Brea because um, well, it's Father's Day and it's just really difficult getting around. He's got one piece windows in it. And there you go. Well, they're getting ready to do awards. This is the time to shoot. <laughs> Beautiful 70 Chevelle right here. Very cool. Reminds me a lot of Brian's car. Right next to it, we got a 66. You know, I was having a conversation this morning, and you know, I really do like the 66 a lot. 67 is also a great one, too. Yeah, beautiful LS converted. It's like Chevelle Row here. Anyway, got to look at the 66, 70 over here, 71 in the background. Another 70 right here, 454 SS. Again, super, super tight through here, so it's real difficult to maneuver, but doing the best I can. And you know me, I'm not a little guy. Right next to it, we got a 61 wagon. Nice laid out on paint. American Racing, beautifully polished torque thrust twos. Just looking sweet. Nice 57 here. Poster, 210. And of course, we've got this incredible Ford panel. The paint on this is just amazing. It's almost like a root beer. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's just incredible. It's a 56, it belongs to Rich Miller. He's part of Pickups Limited. It's all TCI coilovers, front suspension's been worked, intros are wheel, uh, intro wheels, just on and on and on. Just an amazing car. And then right next to it, we've got this amazing Ford Cabriolet. Oh, look at this. He went with a TPI. This is old school. It's a 46 Ford. And hopefully Robert just saw me. Here's this gasser that I was talking about earlier. Let's go find Robert.